So today I'm talking about a P0154 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0154 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit, no activity detected, bank two sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0154 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors that either there's no voltage on it or it's seeing voltage and the voltage isn't changing, mainly with this Bank 2 Sensor 102 sensor. So it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And V6 and V8 engines, they're going to have two banks. Bank 1 is always deciding the engine with the number one cylinder, and Bank 2 is always the opposite of that. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you locate the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one, and the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0154 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this is either that bank two sensor one O2 sensor that has gone bad and needs to be replaced, or the wiring going to it. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And with this P0154 code, the sensor to locate and go and check out is going to be this bank two sensor one O2 sensor. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, then you can use that. For example, here's a scan tool with all the O2 sensors selected. Here's Bank 1 Sensor 1, Bank 1 Sensor 2, Bank 2 Sensor 1, Bank 2 Sensor 2. And with that Sensor 1 upstream O2 sensor, what you want to see is you want to see this up and down pattern like this. The Sensor 1 should be reading some oxygen coming out of the exhaust. So you should see this pattern like this going up and down, up and down. Sensor 2 should be flat like this because it shouldn't be reading any oxygen coming out the other side of the catalytic converter. But if you check this Sensor 1 and it looks like this, like flat, or the voltage is stuck high or stuck low or anything like that, then you know there's some kind of problem there. There's some good videos on this. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of problem with the wiring going to the sensor. And there's like an open, there's a short, a blown fuse, there's a bad connection, something like this. And there can be different types of oxygen sensors. So it's always a good idea to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. These four-wire oxygen sensors are fairly common. And basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's two parts to them. There's going to be the oxygen sensor part that's going to be reading how much oxygen there is inside the exhaust. But that O2 sensor part can't start working correctly and it can't get good readings until it gets hot. And so that that O2 sensor part doesn't have to wait for the engine to warm up and the exhaust to warm up and everything like this. They built in these heater elements. The heater element part is usually going to have 12 volts going to it. Again, be sure to get wiring schematics and things like this for the vehicle being worked on. But it is common for these to have 12 volts going to them. They're also going to be on a fuse and possibly a relay. And then you're going to have two wires going back to the computer. So you can use a multimeter. You can go and check the wiring. And basically you just want to check and be sure there's no open, nothing shorted or anything like this. It's a good idea to go and check for any blowing fuses or relays. You have to do a little bit of research on which fuse or relay it is. For example, right here, this is a Toyota. And this AF heater right here, that's going to be the fuse that's going to that heater element. And then over here, this AF heater right here, that's going to be the relay going to that heater element. Again, this can all be different depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this. But it is a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses or bad relays because the next thing that's going to cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with P0154 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.